Show fellas Jigsable here with another video and this will be my final update on my transformation and my progression in the Body by Rings training program by Fitness FAQs and you can finally decide if you want to do the program or not. Also be sure to watch uh, part 1 and 2 uh, because 1 and 2 is before 3. So Body by Rings as said is a training program by Fitness FAQ, a calisthenics YouTuber and it is done just by plain body weight uh, with rings and I already did reviews on phase 1 and phase 2. Uh, something may be repeated here from phase 1 but otherwise it should be consistent that you can watch also the other ones. And the third phase is really challenging. We'll start with the cons so that we can end with the pros. First it has a lot of sets and I get that it's plain body weight so if you want to add some intensity on something you will probably add more sets because it doesn't make sense to add more uh, repetitions uh, because that would just not uh, be the same goal like strength and hypertrophy it, uh, that would be endurance so you gotta add either white or just sets uh, I particularly would rather add white but I get that this program should be just plain body white so he just added sets uh, but because of this and because the rest is uh, in all exercises 2 minutes which on some exercises like for example the uh, tricep ring dip or some tricep extensions or some isolation work could be way shorter uh, and because of these two things it takes a really long time to finish uh, around 2 hours which is quite a lot and it actually quite transitions now into my training programs that I started doing again after I finished the training it's really uh, is hard for me to cut it down to I was used to do just like one hour but one hour like really intense training but I didn't do much rest so that's the problem uh, I know that the rest is important so I started doing more rest I'm trying to cut it down on some exercises but on some you just need to have more rest so uh, I'm now doing the upper lower split and uh, on the uppers I will probably satisfy just with uh, hour and half because the one hour is not really possible in the upper training if you also want to do there some isolation work on arms uh, but let's stop with uh, talking about my trainings uh, if you want to see my trainings so uh, comment down below I will gladly film it and uh, show it to you then last con uh, that you cannot really train anything else because it takes uh, minimally five days a week if you do just one leg day if you do two leg days it takes six days a week so there's not really a chance to train something else if you want to do like two phase trainings and the trainings are quite intense so it's not a good idea to do two phase trainings so you really need to be really committed to really train mainly just this program if you want to do this program well, let's get to the fun part let's talk about the pros it works on the calisthenic skills like handstand handstand push-ups front lever and these type of things it doesn't train directly with the front lever but you have there the LRO which is great pulling exercise and it uh, is basically front lever row so uh, you do train on the front lever there another great thing is that it is adjustable so that you can exchange some exercises for some exercises that you want to do I will talk about my changes later in the video so that you know what changes I did and maybe you can inspire yourself it's definitely the number one program if you want to learn how to train with rings which is basically the main reason why I did this program because I wanted to fully learn to work with rings I got the rings, I worked with them for a month and then I wanted to uh, learn completely everything and that's what I did and you will also gain serious strength definitely serious strength on rings I, my ring transformation is amazing I can do almost any exercise that I can think of well, not any exercise uh, that's why I said almost uh, because I can do a lot of exercises on rings let's change it to this and it's really great my strength got really high and uh, even it transitions even to the bars because before I wasn't really able to do the weighted pull-ups but I was before I got weaker uh, never mind uh, so after this I started doing the weighted pull-ups again and I can lift around 10 kg which is not bad uh, not like some work was great but uh, it's not bad and it also improves a lot on your pushing strength although I did the weighted dips even on the program the program really helped me uh, that the weight was easier to lift uh, than if I didn't train the program you know <laughs> and last but not least it's a program by fitness FAQs so 
you know that the program is good. Well, he puts a lot of things from the program actually in his videos. When I watched his videos back, uh, I saw that it basically mirrors the training program. So if you don't have money for the training program, not everybody does, uh, just watch a lot of his videos and you can put together a program that will work for you and it will be similar to the body fire rings. Uh, and he doesn't even hit like the eight minute mark. So you see that he really does do it because he loves it not because he wants to gain some money from it. Uh, that way I'm not saying that I'm not doing it because I love it. I do because I love it and I also hit the 8 minute mark and I don't have monetization on it so I don't really gain any money from it. So anyway, so never mind. Now let's get to my changes. First the pushing day, uh, I train planche before I go on the workout itself. Uh, usually 4 to 5 sets of trying to hold the basic on max but uh, going for 10, 15 to 20 seconds. But I'm in the very first stuck position. I'm getting slightly into a little bit less stuck, but still kind of on the beginning. Then something great that is on the push day one is the wall handstand push-ups for 20 minutes. So I just changed it for trying to get into the freestanding handstand and hold it. And I managed to get there, but uh, then I fell down. So. But I'm getting there, I'm getting there. It's just in my head. I'm just afraid to do it. Otherwise, I think I can actually hold it. Of course, the shoulder push-up, the bike push-ups, I uh, exchange with the wall handstand push-up. So I'm st I still do the wall handstand push-ups. Also, for the triceps, this I said in the last video that it's getting kind of repeating. It's there in both push days. So on one push day, I do the parallel white dip, and on the other, I switch it to normal uh, bench dips, but the white dead ones. And last change on the push day, instead of the diamond push-ups, I, I do the ring assisted uh, planche push-ups so that I also strengthen my planche more and well, it works your triceps well, so. Uh, you may think that I basically created a whole new program with this, but uh, there are actually a lot of exercises, so I kept a lot of the exercises there, don't worry. Uh, and on my pull day, I work on the front lever, still same rules as uh, for the planche. And uh, I also do weighted uh, biceps curls like with the rings and weighted face pulls because that, those two exercises went kind of uh, too easy for me already. So if I had to sum it up, uh, it's probably one of the best programs out there that I tried. And I think that this program actually is worth the value. If I had to give it a point system, uh, I would give it solid 9 out of 10. There's still room for a pro one. And I would definitely recommend it if you want to uh, learn to work with rings if you want to gain some strength uh, without many equipment and uh, also gain some muscles Definitely try it. Oh, yeah, the transformation. <laughs> Here you can see the transformation from uh, the end of phase 2 to the phase 3 uh, In each phase I gained around 1 kilo, so uh, 3 kilos overall which by plain body weight, uh, I think it's really great I think I could have been more committed like to go to sleep earlier because I go around well, 1, 2, 3, 4 a.m., <laughs> which is not good, yeah, I know. Uh, but I didn't have much uh, early school at that time, so I uh, could have slept enough hours, so I still had enough sleep. But yeah, it's better to go before your body starts through like the main rejuvenation. But I'm working on it. I will fix it, don't worry. And here you can see the transformation from the beginning before the phase one and now basically after phase three. And I'm really excited to go back to my hybrid trainings because I bought the Bowflex adjustable dumbbells. So now I can do again my hybrid trainings, which is combining the calisthenics exercises with the, gym, with the use for gym exercises and also some isolation work on the arms. If you would like to see that, uh, don't forget to write it in the comments. Also be sure to like the video if you liked it and also be sure to subscribe and if you subscribe, uh, write in the comments I subscribe uh, and you will get featured like this you like uh, lucky people from the last video. And until then, see you in the next one.